zijn vandaag hier bij Supercro Sports Center in Zevenberg. Um, ja, dat is eigenlijk mijn thuisbasis. Waarom we jullie vandaag hier zijn, is we hebben een aparte training. We trainen meerdere malen in de week snelheid. Met je groot ben je en zwaar ben je eigenlijk automatisch langzaam. Dus wat proberen we te doen? Zo snel mogelijk te zijn. Maar de basis is, we maken gewoon heel veel plezier met het team. En we willen gewoon allemaal winnen. Je gaat dadelijk niet, diegene niet voelen, van het allemaal winnaars zijn. En continu elkaar ja, echt lopen op te fokken, omdat we gewoon willen winnen. Ja, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you no know, Ben Sadiq anymore. I really wanted to fight him because uh, I like rematches. I lost the last fight, but it is what it is. I'm not, uh, I'm not in charge of uh, who we fight. Glory does that, but I'm happy that I still got a fight. Plus, about tough fighter. So I'm happy with that. My biggest issue was how we gonna handle with Benny. What, what's Benny's feeling? Because at the end of the day, we are uh, human people. And uh, that was my first uh, um, concern before we could discuss with Glory what we do with Benny in case this is, this is changing. And when there came a good, uh, good uh, solution for that, then uh, it was for me free to go. I was collision too with Rico Bader and it was amazing, I had good bonds, it was a different feeling and after a few months I fought Bader Hari on No Stadium and now I'm, uh, I'm able to fight in that arena and uh, I can't wait to see the people, to see the crowd, it's a feeling that I think every fighter or every sportsman should, uh, should, uh, should live it, fight on a big stage with such a, uh, a lot of people. Glory knows they can always count on me on me if there's a, a fight around. I always got one, <laughs> or here or somewhere at home, you know, in other country that uh, always be ready to take over the part. It was very good for me, but it was also very sadness for 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 Mr. Overeem. Uh, if he felt in an injury, so it's bad. It was bad for for the event. It was bad for the, for the fight. But the, uh, the place uh, was free, so I taken his place. And I'm uh, four weeks now in Amsterdam uh, in Mike's gym, so. I was prepared for a fight, and a fight is a fight, and if it's three rounds or five rounds or ten rounds, you are prepared for a fight, so for me it was easy to switch on it. I changed it at my gym, but I had a very, very good time also in Breda. I trained there for 10 years, and uh, they are like family to me, and uh, that will never change. I was there two years ago when, 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 when Butter fought Rico, and I was thinking, I hope I'm going to fight here one, one time, and it, it, it's so, such a big a big stadium and uh, so much people there inside. I was thinking there were more than 30,000 people and, and that kind of, of events uh, that, that, that are my dream. And, and this time it happened to me and I can fight for the world title uh, next week. So it is a dream come true. The focus is, is, is 100 percent and, and I think this time is my time. I feel, I feel that this time is my time. The, the last time we fought in 2017, everything was new for me, but it doesn't matter. I have lost, so I accepted the loss, and, and, and this time will be different. How do you describe Rico as a fighter? Well, a good athlete, a strong fighter. You, you can't deny the, the, this man is, is his four years champion, and, and, and if someone says he, 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 he can't, then he, he don't know nothing about the sport. He's a good athlete, he's a strong fighter, and, and that's why he's, he's, he's four years champion. And, and that's why for me it's a big motivation to win from him. Because uh, when you win, you win from a champion who is there for a long time. And that, that, makes, that makes something in me 
uh, free to, to, to keep the focus 100% for, no, for next week to win the world title, hopefully. Yeah, thank you, I'm fine. I'm, I'm glad to back to the ring. Almost two years I'm just training, believe maybe my chance is coming, so this time my chance is coming. Why do you gonna win? Why? Because I'm really, really hungry and I want to just prove myself. Uh, yeah, I expect a really big event, especially with the heavyweights. Really, uh, really nice, uh, good, good names, good fighters. Also, also the super fights. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna make a really big show, uh, and we're gonna, you know, uh, fireworks in the building. Are you happy with your new opponent? Yes, of course. I'm much more motivated. So, yeah, like it feels uh, like if I fought Max Vini and won, everybody will say like. Ah, uh, he, he just did it, you know, that's what he expected. But now if I win, then everybody's like, oh, well, he's really good. So that's what mot motivates me. I'm well prepared, I'm feeling good, ready to fight. My family is coming, my friends are coming from my old place. Everybody's coming, you know, to support me. So I got to do it for them, you know, because they are making effort to come and see me. So I have to slap this guy for real. He's a good fighter, but he's not better than me. I faced way better opponent than he has, you know. So let's see. Let's see if we get a W. The world they were asking, you know, can uh, Antonio fight uh, Benny? If Jamo uh, fights Rico, uh, both I said yes. Then, but what are you going to do with McSweeney? So I said, well, I'm going to call you back in one hour. So I called Saad here and said, listen, do you think you can fight? Because we were training now for a couple of weeks already, but <laughs> a little bit in a secrecy. And uh, I said, yeah, sure, why not? Normally you train 10 weeks for a training camp. I did not have that time, but I was training already without pressure and I was training hard. I'm not 100% prepared, but for fighting, we are ready every day, every moment. Saki is getting ready. You know, uh, is he 100% ready? I don't think so, but he's ready enough to fight. There are so many coaches who met each other so long, far before glory. And uh, yeah, Mikey and me, we running around the world already for 20 years. When we were both uh, young trainers, we should respect each other. And, but in the ring is different. We fight, we want to smash or we want to beat up in the ring. But at the end of the day, we shake each other's hands before and after. The moment of truth, come on. Like, I'm here for the handover of uh, painting for uh, Adabayi. My style is this set, uh, raw, urban and funky. And this is you going for uh, a fight. And here your son, Patrick. In the background, you have... The uh, painting is a whole story about his life, uh, it's, it's also a feeling, like I paint from expression, it's go for it, no fear, and that fits with the kickboxing scene as well, no fear, train hard, do it yourself for a few moments of glory when you hit the dump. Oh, nice, man. Oh. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> oh, I really like it. Mm-hmm.